Traditionally, people will take a crucible out of the furnace with lifting tongs, set the hot crucible on a fireproof plinth, and then re-pick the crucible with a pouring shank. Pour the mold, set the now empty crucible back on the plinth, and then re-pick it with lifting tongs to place the crucible back in the furnace. I wanted to combine the lifting tongs and pouring shank into a single set of pouring tongs. To start with, my design was sort of based on old-timey ice tongs, used to grip and move blocks of ice. I had also been thinking about hinged buckets on steam shovels. That mixed with the idea of industrial tilting crucibles. Essentially, the pinching motion comes from the intersection of two circles. I determined the most efficient area of this motion and developed the geometry of the handle and the tongs. I had the final geometry cut from stainless steel, since I knew that it would spend a lot of time outside and in the elements. The main handle sort of forms a chassis for all of the moving parts to connect to. This is the sliding pull that will actuate the grabbing motion of the tongs. These slots ensure that the handle can only move up and down, while the spacers will make sure everything is riding at the correct height. The motion is limited to about two inches, as that is all I'd be able to reach with my fingers while holding the handle. The washers help with friction, but they mainly serve as shims to get everything to the correct thickness for the grooved clevis pins. I had expected to have a metal lathe by now, but sometimes you just have to make do. These are the arms that will convert the linear motion of the handle to actuate the jaws of the tongs. The large fender washers will provide a more stable face to resist twisting. Basically, the same layer and washer sandwich was maintained throughout the tongs. This is a number 10 graphite crucible. I believe the tongs could hold up to a number 14, but I haven't tried it yet. The fingers of the tongs were preformed to be pretty close to the profile of the crucible. I made a couple adjustments with a dead blow hammer to get it closer. I am placing the pins with the heads in. This is so that if the spring clip ever failed, you would have to let go of the crucible for the pin to fall out. Now I just need to make the wooden handle.
This is a simple hardwood dowel that is held in place with wood screws. Here I am installing the spring. This will make it so the tongs can be operated with one hand. If you squeeze your hand, the tongs squeeze. If you let go, the tongs let go because of this spring. The last thing to finish is the pull stick. This is a piece of stainless with a carriage bolt at the end. Thank you.